Diabetes is one of the biggest challenges for a healthy India. The only way forward is prevention and remission of diabetes. Advanced glycation end products, AGEs, glycated or oxidized lipids and proteins from endogenous and exogenous sources trigger a state of chronic inflammation. High levels of ROS and RNS are formed during both cytokine-mediated pro-inflammatory beta cell aggression in type 1 diabetes, leading to biomolecule damage and cell injury. Moreover, the activation of signal transduction pathways linked to glucolipotoxicity and others leads to beta cell dysfunction in type 2 diabetes. Diabetes Care May 2014 highlights the following stressors on the beta cell in the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes. In the excessive nutritional state found in obesity, hyperglycemia and hyperlipidemia develop. Increasing metabolic load coupled with concurrent inherent insulin resistance and chronic systemic inflammation. Pancreatic islet response to this new environment is likely variable among individuals with differing genetic susceptibility but include inflammatory stress, endoplasmic reticulum stress, metabolic and oxidative stress, amyloid stress and loss of islet cell integrity. If untreated, these interrelated stressors increase with time, promoting beta cell dysfunction coupled with increased glucagon secretion and untimely loss of beta cell mass and possibly de-differentiation that mark the onset of type 2 diabetes. As per Diabetes Care 2014, oxidative stress can inactivate key islet transcription factors producing stunned beta cells that temporarily stop responding to glucose and storing normal amounts of insulin. Evidence shows considerable plasticity within islets, allowing intra-islet cell conversions only in the face of extreme beta cell destruction. As per Diabetes 2012, endoplasmic reticulum stress acts as a trigger for beta cell dysfunction and autoimmunity in type 1 diabetes. ER stressed in beta cells in early type 1 diabetes could eventually die through nuclear factor Kappa B signaling and lead to frank diabetes. Another possibility is that ER stressed beta cells may produce neo-auto antigens and trigger autoimmunity, leading to a severe infiltration of T cells into islands. While treating diabetes, traditional current oral therapies do not address all islet cell dysfunction. To treat the root cause of diabetes, presenting Cresven Beta, which helps in the prevention and remission of diabetes. Epicatechin enterocarpus marsupium regenerates beta cells. An increased cellular ATP-ADP ratio, primarily induced by oxidative phosphorylation, closes ATP-sensitive potassium channels, which subsequently causes membrane depolarization and opening of voltage-dependent calcium channels leading to increased cytosolic calcium ions. Epicatechin can activate G-protein coupled receptor GPR40 to further increase cytosolic calcium ions. The increased calcium ions activate calcium calmodulin dependent protein kinase 2 which serves as a triggering signal in glucose induced insulin secretion and increases extracellular signal regulated kinase phosphorylation. The increased calcium ions also leads to activation of calcium dependent adenylate cyclase which increases the cyclic AMP levels leading to protein kinase A activation. Activated PKA then prevents dephosphorylation of CAMK2 by inhibiting protein phosphatase 1 which specifically dephosphorylates CAMK2. Epicatechin enterocarpus marsupium regenerates beta cells. Gymnema sylvestre has a unique model of action in diabetes. Obesity leads to changes in pancreatic energy metabolism, 
with a substrate shift from glucose to fatty acids. In morbidly obese humans, impaired pancreatic blood flow may contribute to cell dysfunction and in the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes. Gymnemic acid prevents the binding of glucose to the receptors in the intestine, empties calories and prevents obesity. Cresven beta helps in insulin and glucagon balance where resveratrol improves insulin action and also ensures protection of beta cells. Salacinol and cotalinol significantly reduce HbA1c by 30%. Pterostilbene and marsupin lead to improved glucose control. Cresven beta is recommended in pre-diabetes, metabolic syndrome, early type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes and diabetes. The recommended dose of Cresven beta is two tablets twice daily or as directed by the physician. Cresven beta, the beta cell savior beyond glycemic control.